Welcome, dear hearts. Come on in and enjoy a brief moment with me, Natasha, the owner and CEO of the Magical Blessings Healing Center. Thank you so very much for taking a brief moment out of your very busy day to go on a magical journey with me. So grab your favorite beverage, snuggle on down, and get comfy as we go on the incredible story called The Slip and Slide. Well, when I'm about eight years old, and in the story, I'm about eight, my sister's about five, let's also input my dad into the story. And my dad is what we call meticulous lawn guy. He has an extensively meticulous lawn. He also is known to break all of the noise code ethics. 7 a.m. with my dad? I don't remember that. So... Anyways, sometimes he'd be up at 5.45 in the morning, crack of dawn. My dad, let's also give a little bit of background, is a southern gentleman, farmer, military guy. Uh, so when I say my dad has a box, he has think inside the box. And he was blessed with a very innovative, creative, sparkly, spunky daughter of which is me. So for some reason, my dad needed to either reapply or fix or do something with the Visqueen, which is a water barrier underneath your home. And I'm pretty fearless and some of the area was tough to get to. So he, he and I went on this, this uh, journey. And I don't know why, but for some reason, after the Visqueen was laid down, there was some saved over, something sparked in me and said, I'd love to have a slip and slide. <laughs> Enter the, the, the Visqueen Queen plastic of a slip and slide. Now, my dad is not overtly excited or happy when he gets up and gets up. He's a shift worker. He's now a factory working. He's working long hours and he gets up and he sees, he looks out the living room window and he sees the plastic fist queen on his lawn. The first comment was, boom, slam of the, of the screen door. We're both like, ooh, my sister, she made me do it. That was my sister. She said, she made me do it, queen, when we were little. So I'm looking at my dad going, oh dear. Oh, heck, I was having fun. So my dad is like, why the front yard? Well, the backyard has a lot of space, but there's also the vegetable garden, the rose bush, the, you have a swing set. Yeah, but remember last week when I got in trouble, when I put the wading pool under the, the, the um, slide, and, and I was going to slide with the water down the slide, and you said that I shouldn't do that. And I was fine, but my sister had to one be the one who had to get hurt and come and tattle on us. So I thought, why can't I have a plastic slip and slide on the ground? We'll be safer. My dad, the grunt that my dad did. Mm, all right, fine. Here's your perimeters. Again, here's the box. And I'm like... Always, when I was younger, I'm still that way. Daddy, there's no box. That's an illusion. There's no box. There's a box. The perimeters are now drawn. End of discussion. Daddy has spoke. But at least we're getting to, to, the, to do the slip and slide. So, yes! Woo-hoo on that one! So my sister and I just, you know, continue to have our fun with the slip and slide. And we go through just a, a myriad of just different fun things with the slip and slide. And our cousins hear about it and our cousin comes and visits. Our, you know, friends and neighborhood kids wandering through. Hey, they're having fun. So we create quite a, quite a bit of interesting aspects to the slip and slide. I mean, so somebody comes up, probably me, with the idea of blowing bubbles as people slide, because I love bubbles. So 
then it, it, it turns into, well, the little bubbles, they're fun. You try to pop them, you know, as you slide down, and that was really fun stuff. But what would happen if you take the big wand and make the big wand with the water and you get rainbow bubbles and, woo, exciting, daddy, look at the rainbow bubbles. <sighs> what happened to the flower? What happened? Tosh, what happened to the flower? I don't know. Can I still have my slip and slide? Just make sure that you're watering the plants a little bit better. And where's all the soap coming from? Soap is going to kill some of these plants. Well, I'll figure out a way. So what did I do? I took out... <laughs> I created a, a canal. So it would go straight to the street. My dad, fine. I don't know how you're gonna corral all the soap bubbles. Oh, I'll figure it out, don't worry daddy. I'll have this taken care of. So we continue on this with this incredible thing. I thought my dad was going to lose it for two other reasons. The first one was he got up one day and he's looking at the plant damage. <laughs> Here I come from the other side of the, the yard, from the backyard to the front yard. And I have on a snorkeling mask with the little, you know, breathing tube and my flip flop, my flippers. And you really shouldn't wear flippers walking. You really, it's really unsafe, but for some reason I am. And here's my sister. I wanted to make sure she was going to be safe. She did not swim as well as I did. I'm a proficient swimmer. Hey, I'm not even on the swim team. I've gone to the um, the Olympics already, you know. So hey, I got this. My sister, you know, I'm trying to take care of her. I'm the big sister. I'm taking care of my little sister. So she has on one of our life preservers from from a little rowboat that we have, and um, that my dad has, and my dad. She's at it again. He literally drops the hose and <laughs> looks off. <laughs> because my mom looking out and you hear bang, 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 you know, between the flippers and the thunk, thunk, thunk of I'm carrying the wading pool. Well, I wasn't able to do with it off of the slide. We have a slip and slide. We're on the ground and how much fun would it be when you slide and splash at the end of the slip and slide? So I'm filling up this wainy pool. My mom, and I can only just, I just look at my mom. She's looking out. Oh, <laughs> you can just imagine the conversation that they are having inside. <laughs> I just, all I heard was, she's going to kill the grass. I hadn't killed it yet. It was definitely being taken care of and watered. Uh, I guess as an elemental, I have that, that incredible je ne sais quoi that just knew how to take care of the plants and the grass and everything. Um, and so the, the funnest moment, though, was we eventually did create quite a muddy mess. Not sure why, but... Maybe it's all the water, all the people, you know, all the bubbles. <laughs> Who knows what it was and the sliding. And my dad, he's coming home. He's on the day shift. He's coming home after a very long day of work. If I remember correctly, he worked, I think, a 12-hour shift. Oops. Um, probably not the best time to, to make that that. I, uh, the idea of what happened next. But, you know, as an eight-year-old kid, you don't always necessarily know what the adult world is doing. Just having fun. Well, my sister and I had gotten into a pretty good mud fight. Hey, we were fashionistas. I mean, we were caked. We had mud all over us. I mean, when it dried, and it, well, our skin was gorgeous. <laughs> but we were having a mud fight, I don't know which one of us started it. it. Could have been simultaneously. All I know is our dad went down the street. Daddy, pop. Where's Daddy going? Uh, um, Daddy, Daddy, come here, right here. You missed the driveway. I all I know is 
so my dad kept going down the road. <laughs> I, I don't know what what how long he was gone how long it took for him to come home and we went back to our our mud war because hey I was gonna win okay so I was one up I only needed one more point and I was the winner Woo! I'm winning and the interesting funnest part about all of this is I called my dear sweet dad as this story just kind of unfolded in front of me and the memories came, you know, came back and, and I'm typing and I loved the story because I, uh, it almost felt like effortless. I didn't write the story. It wrote itself and I love it when that happens. So I call my dad, daddy, do you remember the slip and slide? Ugh! Do I remember the slip and slide? Why? And he's like, I think you're still pretty proud of yourself, aren't you? And I said, are you really that mad almost 40 years later? And I could hear the, the, the glint in his eyes. You know, you know how their dads just, they kind of, they kind of get that, they have that breathing moment, but you know, there's a twinkle in their eye. And he's like, no, I guess it wasn't that bad, but don't you ever do that again. I know what well my kids are too old you know they're older I have young adults for for my children maybe I should teach my stepsisters children and he oh and I, I even offered and he said don't you even think about it <laughs> so basically this is about you know just coming back to this very youthful fun playful time I'm sure you have many stories and this is just one one of so many stories I could tell about <laughs> the things I did it's a no wonder that I did not hurt every bone in my body and I am so thankful that I have great angels they kept they've kept me so safe from all of the shenanigans that I used to do as a kid and just helping other people will have those beautiful memories, jog those memories and take those opportunities and go outside and have fun with your kids or your grandkids, just enjoying it. And maybe, you know, you might want to slip and slide too. You're never too old. In truth, when it was my turn as the mom, I readily let my kids do the slip and slide. I even helped them, you know, teach them how to set everything up and do all the fun stuff. And it was a hoot when we had a bunch of uh, boys from the neighborhood over visiting my son and they're like, your mom won't do this. And I'm like, watch this boys, let me show you how it's done. And run, run, hop, cause you know, you have to have that hop, hop, <sighs> slip sliding away. And watching these boys just, woo, 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 oh my gosh, your mom is so cool. And I stood up and I curtsied and I said, and that's how it's done. Now, would you like to learn from a pro? I'll show you again. Um, and so, yeah, take that time and enjoy it because really it's all about fun and play. And our youth, they have so many things that they, that just, so many things that they have coming at them in many more different directions that maybe we didn't have when you were younger. I don't remember spending most of my time indoors around the TV. It was a big fat nope. My dad was the controller of the... <laughs> That's another story. My dad was the controller of the TV. Um, and we, we just didn't take that opportunity. We were out and enjoying and having a great time. So... Thank you so very much. Thank you, thank you for taking this beautiful moment and opportunity and allowing me to take you on an incredible journey of the slip and slide summer fun. Until later, much love, much light, and magical, magical blessings each and every dear heart. Mwah! Goodbye.